Hi there, minions of technology. My name is Tim Lee. Welcome to Legacy Studio. Today we're on our way to Nyhart, Montana. A little place about an hour outside of town where I was hoping to do a couple things. I'll tell you more about it in just a second. So I'm finally getting to mess with something that uh, I've wanted to do for a while, and that was... so oh, that's some cool buildings over there. I... I'm gonna definitely have to, like, find my way back to some of these areas on my way back after I get done with the paid portion of this little trip to get some proper pictures. Oh, man, look at this. Look at this view. Look at this view. <laughs> so pretty. I better put the camera down and focus here, but look at this. So pretty. <laughs> So during this time, my wife and I were trying to make a pretty big life decision. Was I going to go full-time self-employed? The answer, yes. And now I'm contracted by a magazine where I write stories for them, among doing design and many other things. But they asked me to head out to Nyhart and see if I could dig up some stories that would be worth putting in the magazine. But I was there for an alternative reason, too. I was really curious if I could find some place to do a little bit of plain air. I got lucky. This building is so cool. I think I'll be able to get more off of it with a drone, but let me get some generic shots here. Let's see if I can find an angle that's uh, maybe worthy of painting. So this is actually an abandoned mine just outside of Nyhart, Montana. They used to do a bunch of mining for silver. This place used to be a thriving city, and at a certain point in time, it all came crashing down when the desire for silver also came crashing down. But this was too good not to paint. So, got out my plein air kit, got it all unfolded, got my paints out, and time to get into creative mode. The weather was perfect. I was very, very thankful for that. And other than a nice little breeze here and there that you could hear coming through the nature around you and sound like a car driving by and then suddenly you feel a blast of wind. That was about the gist of it. It didn't get colder until a little bit later. So I'll let you enjoy a little bit more of this as we go through some of the painting process. By the way, humongous thank you to my amazing legacy historians Tony Allen, Sean Hammond, and William Poneth for helping me make content just like this every single day deeply appreciate them and deeply appreciate you. If you like it, hit that like button, comment, and subscribe down below. Keep letting me know that you appreciate this and I'll keep making more. Thank you so much, folks. Enjoy the rest of the video. I'm not gonna lie, I'm living my best life right now. I hope that, uh, this becomes a bit of a norm. That would be rather exciting. I don't know if it actually will. I will find out all the realities of what I'm doing soon enough, and I'm sure they won't be perfect. But to be able to do a bit more of this in my life would be pretty nice. So we'll see. The guy can hope a little, you know?
gonna lie, that temperature started dropping fast. I have no idea what time it is. Um, 357, it's only 357. And yet, yeah, that temperature started, probably dropped, dropped at least 10 degrees. Uh, sun's gone. Well, it's not gone, but it certainly is not as visible and not letting off that beautiful sunlight that I was seeing earlier. 